Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are working on The Sims 4 and today we are building a family home that is base game only. Yes, you heard it correctly. I am building a limited pack build. Lim limited pack being I only use base game. It's not something I do often. I think I have like over 1500 homes in the gallery. Maybe I have like three base game only homes including this one I mean I just don't like using only base game because I have all the packs so why wouldn't I use it right but for this one I thought you know what I'm just gonna do it limited build here I go and I have to say it actually was pretty fun because you find a lot of objects that you don't use otherwise especially bats and plants and lights and tables and chair. Basically everything except counters because I know what I'm in love with the parenthood counter but this time we're using something else but just beware. Just okay you'll you'll see later what I mean. Anyway so the shape of this home I didn't think about it at all. I just start building and building and building and then I ended up with this. So we are working with this and instead of giving it a white trim I have decided to give it a black roof trim and I actually think it looks pretty pretty nice. And then we are using those little things but I can't remember the name of. And then the columns. We are using pretty fancy columns so it meant that our home had to be pretty fancy. Usually I always look the use the, um, I think it's get together. You know the little square ones, the get together of columns, I love using those but for this we couldn't. Also can we just talk about the updates? Guys, free window placement, am I right? I am so hyped for this. I mean, look at it. I am placing all the windows. They could be on the same tile. It doesn't matter. They could be stacked. It doesn't matter. They don't blur out anymore. I'm in love with this, honestly. Forget the Star Wars pack. Uh, this makes up pretty much everything. I mean, well, that's not true. but It makes up for most of it. Also, the Star Wars pack is releasing in two days. There's gonna be videos. Actually, when this is releasing on the 8th, so today's the 7th, it's releasing tomorrow, so woo! I'm gonna make a video about that if I can, because I know it releases on the 8th in America, which is probably the 9th in my country, and then the 9th I actually have to go to the gym, you know, because condition and stuff, so you need to do that, so. There will probably be a video on it and otherwise there will be a build next Monday anyway. So maybe a surprise build later in the week. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, but for now, let's go back to this build game. Build only. I'm always quite surprised with how few items the base game has. Which I know obviously because it is base game and I have like all the 150,000 packs. But still, I'm always quite surprised. Like, I'm looking for my favorite fence and I'm like, oh no, wait, I can't because that's Romantic Garden stuff. I'm looking for my windows and I'm like, nope, and that is cats and dogs, can't use that. Luckily, the sliding door was base game, so we could use that in the end and I'm really, really happy with that. And for a change, I mean, not for a change because I always do that, but anyways, we are starting with the exterior, but the interior actually looks just as great as the exterior, even if I say so myself. So maybe base game only is good for my interior because, you know, um, I'm limited to what I can choose for, but well, from, but also I can't like pick a lot of items. So there's no need for me to scroll through everything and then decide on the first thing that I see anyway, because base game doesn't have that many items. And I quite like it actually. I really like it. But obviously, um, I am using a lot of debug items as well, so almost all our landscaping is debug and inside we are using some debug clutter. Like, not a lot because, um, you know, it's base game and the exterior spoke fancy. At least to me it said like, ooh, I'm a fancy home, so you're not gonna have that much clutter. At least in my mind. In my mind, fancy homes don't have that much clutter. They're also really clean and white and stuff, so... We are gonna use something, um different in a moment with the landscape though because even in the debug you know debug is like massive it is a massive catalog that you can't find anything in base game debug also still massive and a 
I don't want to say it, but really annoying to get through. Can't use the swear word, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> and um, with the base game only, it is easier to find stuff. I mean, not as easy as it would in a normal catalogue, but it's easier. And I also found some stuff that I actually never used. So you know that there is like uh, a pen in debug? I didn't know that. Also, there's a little notebook in, in debug as well. I never knew that because I always scroll past it. I also think it's pretty funny that cars are a debug item of base game. Yet we have no cars in The Sims 4. Which I'm still quite mad about actually, because um, I think cars are like pretty necessary. And I love cars. So, you know, why don't I have cars? I can still like, even I don't, I've, I've read on um, Reddit, I think it was, that a lot of simmers don't want cars in The Sims 4. I mean, like a lot. There are simmers that don't want cars in The Sims 4 because The Sims 4 isn't open world, so it wouldn't be like The Sims 3. Um, I'm not asking for an open world. I'm fine with loading screens. I just want cars like you used to have in The Sims 2. So when you go to work, your sim would be able to... Um, like your sim would be picked up by your work car. And when you were just starting off at your work, you would have this really, really crap car. And then when you got promoted, the car would get better and better. And in the end, if you were like a head doctor or head surgeon, you would get picked up in a limo. And after that, when you're like boss of the entire hospital, you would be uh, getting picked up in a helicopter. Which is amazing! Like, I really want that. And you would have, like, fixer-upper cars, so your sims could work on their um, technical skills on that. And I absolutely love that. And it actually, when you finish it, you would actually have a real car which you could drive in. So even though the car would just drive by, pick up your sim and then disappear into nowhere, it's fine, you could even go with your car and go shopping, so your sim would go in your, go in your car, drive off the lot, go into the loading screen, and then drive on through other lots, and I really, really loved that. Also, um, you could woohoo in a car, and I always thought that was pretty funny, because once there were... Um, I remember one time in The Sims 2, right? My sims were woohooing in the car, and one of the neighbors walked by, and they were like shocked because we were woohooing in public. I love that. When, when in The Sims 2, when you had like the um, romantic aspiration, one of the wants would be to woohoo in all public places, which I would absolutely love. So I used to go um, with my sim to all the public lots and the community lots, and then she would woohoo in a photo uh, boot box, she would woohoo in the shower at the gym, she would woohoo in the car. I loved it. Like the hot top on top of the gym, she would woohoo in that. And then you would also get these uh, cinematics in The Sims 2 when they were woohooing. Which was sometimes really uncomfortable, but most times it was really fun to watch. Anyways, I'm going off topic again. I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, we're at cars. So, um, I'd still want cars in The Sims 4. I feel like that's pretty necessary. I love cars. I want to be able to get my Sims have like a fixer up a car. That's all I want. And I'm afraid we are never gonna get it, because I believe it was the 6th anniversary of The Sims last week, if I remember correctly. We didn't get anything. I mean, last year we got that awful hot tub. Was it last year already? I can't even remember correctly anymore. I think, I think it was the 6th anniversary. Oh well. Anyways, also, um, since we can stack windows, I was working on this pretty uh, archway to stack those. Didn't like the way it looks, so we're just going for the two tiny windows above the archway. Which I've actually seen in a real life home, and I'm so glad that I can finally recreate that in The Sims 4. There are so many options with this, like so, so many, and I'm absolutely in love. Also, don't mind the floor plan upstairs with a weird uh, shaped bathroom. Um, it will be better, I swear. Once it's fully decorated, it will look a lot better. So this will be our bathroom. And then we're gonna have a uh, like little half bath down there. And I think we are actually going to start off with a dining room downstairs with furnishing. Because that was the easiest room. Because I didn't want to start the kitchen, which I usually do, but I didn't have any inspiration for it yet. So we are using the obviously base game and we are building our... Can you hear that? It's almost like a firework. 
I got completely distracted, sorry. Scared me a bit as well. Whew. Anyway, so we are decorating our dining room and we are keeping it pretty simple. And I wanted this to be our dining room because you have the windows all over the place. So when you have like dinner, you could like look outside and it's really nice. I think I forgot to mention on which lot this is built. It is built in uh, Willow Creek and it's the lot above above no um like right beside no right against oh my God, i don't know what's wrong i'm sorry anyway it's right against the goth house i forgot which family uh originally lived in there because i have bulldozed every lot in my sims file because this is a home for my uh, save file so my save file will have a few base game homes only uh one of them obviously in Willow Creek and I think I will do one of them in Oasis Springs. But any other build is um, gigantic and enormous with all the different packs. Even though like, uh, like imagine you have every pack except Laundry Day. You can still download all my builds because the only thing that will be removed will be the washer and dryer. And that's it, that's everything I ever use from Laundry Day. And maybe a plant. But that's really it. So right now we are doing the kitchen and I have to say I love how simple this kitchen is. I mean the layout. You have like uh, three separate places for counters and there's one next to the fridge, two next to the stove and then one next to the sink. And I absolutely love how divided it is but also how much as a whole it looks. I mean I love it. I really really love it. It looks so amazing and just so cool. I can't even explain it otherwise. It just looks cool. So I'm quite proud of that, even if I say so myself. And then with this amazing backsplash, I was wondering if I should have given it a different colour, but looking back at it, the blue and the black and then it combines with uh, wood tones, I think it looks so cool. And then obviously we are adding some uh, bottles of, let's say there is um, lemonade in them, e even though we all know it's not lemonade what is in them, but that's fine. Also, could I... Please not do this. I think it's actually someone with an electric soul. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Maybe I, I can just hear it anyways. I wanted to do something different with a microwave as well. Usually I don't put clutter on microwaves. But I felt like this microwave was perfect for having like a plant on top of it. And then just a the tiny little sunflowers in there. Because you still have one counter left where you Sims can cook on. And I think they can actually use the one with the sunflowers on there as well. But I'm not absolutely sure, but I think they probably should be able to, like it probably isn't that big of a deal. And now we are continuing with the living room. And since we had those open stairs, I wanted to put something under it because, you know, it is empty space. And if you were to live in a real home, you would fill it up with um, clutter, but in my case, probably bookshelves and DVDs and then some boxes. But we're not talking about my life right now, we're talking about this sims home. So I know that this living room is like pretty much in the kitchen, but I absolutely love the way it's lay laid out. I think it's really realistic for people uh, to have like this one giant open space and then divide it up with some furniture. So like imagine if I didn't have like the love seat on the left, then it would be like this win one big open space. But because I put that love seat there, it actually breaks down the space and makes it look like there are two separate rooms, even though there aren't. And I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. Also that money bag, I just thought it was funny because it looks so fancy on the outside. And then the inside didn't look fancy at all. So like, you know what, um, they just have a bag of money. There you go, it's there. They're fancy. I thought it was actually pretty funny. So Again, might just only be me. And I actually um, rediscovered that plant that you see me using. I never use it anymore because I have so many other plants that I like love more. But you know, when you only have base game, you're limited in the options that you can choose from. So then you gotta fall back on your old habits. And I actually really liked it to like go back to my roots. Because I used to only have base game, which was quite logical because I bought The Sims 4 when it came out. And we'd only had base game, we didn't even have move objects. It was really weird because I was looking for that cheese and it just didn't exist. Like ever. I think it took like half a year before that cheese came in. Also, we didn't have toddlers. I'm so happy that we have toddlers right now. 
Like honestly, I love toddlers. I know a lot of people hate them, but I actually love them. I also know that there are a lot of simmers who wish that there would be like um, a stage be before the children are teenager and after they're a kid, so like a little bit like a preteen. Uh, I'm not fully on board with that. I do want an age uh, gap, just like in The Sims 2, where your um, teenagers go to university when they're still a teenager, and then they grow up to be college students. Because I hate it when my young adults have to go to uni, because my teens can't go yet, so they have to be a young adult, and then they have to go to uni, and then they're going old there. And I really, really hate that. I don't know why, I just I can't stand it. I just, I literally can't handle that. So this is what I mean with the uh, debug items. So, like, these little notepads lying there. I never knew that was a uh, debug item. So that is like pretty amazing. Also, we have matching curtains throughout the entire home. The blue ones, obviously base game, and I thought it was pretty funny. I also noticed when you have only base game that you need to be more creative with the art styles that you're using. So sizing up a painting or sizing it down and then playing with the room that you have. I love it, man. But before we do any of that again, we are doing this little bathroom. And actually I had this one countertop in the middle and then two side counters next to it to make it more uh, look more realistic. And I actually really like the way it looks. It's functional, I'm pretty sure it's functional. I didn't play test it because I only play test like really tiny builds where I'm not sure. Oh my god, could you not ride your motorcycle through my street while I'm recording voiceover, please? People are so rude, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm not starting again with this voiceover. I'm almost 20 minutes in. I'm just going to continue. Anyways, like um, like I said, I don't play test all my builds. I play test the really tiny builds. But I'm pretty sure that this works and otherwise just remove the cabinets or the counters that are on the left and right of the sink. It's fine. So we are moving over to the parents' room at the moment. And the theme is blue and I wanted to see what wall light most uh, like fitted this room. And I came out with that one. And it really reminded me of those lights you see in holiday homes. So automatically I wanted to go on holiday and I might be booking something, depending on the global situation and everything. We'll see. Also the rocks. You see how little, how few rocks we have in base game? It's crazy. It's really crazy. Sims 4, we need more rocks, like, ready. Even with all the packs, I still fall back at the same rocks, because not all the rocks are just good, you know? So... Sorry, Sims team, but you're gonna need to do better on that. Even though it's just one Simmer saying that. Please do it for me. Also, if you could like give me the Star Wars pack for free, that'd be nice because I don't really want to buy it. Because I'm not really into Star Wars, but I'm also a huge collector. So I must have all the packs. And I'm pretty sure that the build and buy objects will be good though. Like if I saw the trailer and all the objects that they have i'm pretty sure it will be good at least the debug will be good i know that because debug is my favorite i'm just afraid like it is a holiday um destination a new star wars pack but i'm just afraid that it will completely suck i'm really afraid of that like i'm i'm totally into space things and science fiction just not really star wars i've watched it didn't really like it i mean i like darth vader but that's about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, we'll see tomorrow when it comes out, or the day after tomorrow when I can play it. We'll see it, just fingers crossed and hope it's good. We are now doing the uh, teens room. I was wondering if I should make it a kids room or a teens room. I just, just us, blah, okay, take two. I decided to go with teens. And I know that from the outside, it looks like quite a gigantic home. And on the inside, it's really, really not. It only has like two bedrooms, so one for the parents and one for a kid or a teen, whatever. You can even make it into a toddler's room or a nursery. That's completely up to you. But I had the idea of making it into a teen's bedroom. So that's why also the downstairs, you only have four chairs at the dining table. Usually all my dining tables have a lot more, but since this isn't a really big family that lives here, I also had the feeling that this person or the teen that would live here was really, really creative. So, hence all the paintings and the easel in the hallway that belongs to the teen. 
I just also the monkey bars belongs uh, to the teen as well because when she was a kid she used to be really active and then when she went to high school she got into art and everything so the parents still own the monkey bar but she actually never uses it anymore I think what I forgot to do like you already know what I'm gonna say I think I forgot to put the house on the foundation but shh don't say anything, maybe you guys won't notice. So when you download from the gallery, make sure to put it on foundation because I forgot that. Anyways, we are getting close to the screenshots now, guys. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me out so much and keeps me motivated. So I will hope to see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.